Hey everybody, it's Adam Jorgen sitting in with Pragmatic Works. Welcome back to our Azure Everyday Series. We're excited to talk to you today about three cloud myths. And uh, I'm actually, uh, you know, gonna bust them, I think. So the first one is talking about how the cloud is cheaper. Everybody says, move to the cloud, it's gonna be so much cheaper. That's not necessarily true. If, if you already own all your own hardware and it's depreciated off and you're going to have to train some people in some new skills. I mean, there's going to be some costs to transition a platform. But once you get to that platform, you have a significant amount of flexibility. And so you can get uh, things like better performance, better cost management, better chargeback. You can get a lot from just a management perspective out of that cloud environment that's very difficult to get out of your environment. Now, you also get a lot better uh, piece and parceling of those costs. We also can invest in more of a service-based architecture. There's tons of benefits, right? Um, but it's not necessarily always just going to be, I pay $1,000 for this and I'm gonna pay $500 for the same exact thing over here because it's not one for one. You may move some VMs, you may convert some things over to a service like Azure Data Warehouse or Azure Data Factory. You've got lots of options. So the important thing is to go through that process, assess what you have, understand what it's going to look like as you go forward because if you do it right there are lots of ways to really minimize your cost and avoid overspending secondly we get this myth about everything's going to run faster in the cloud everything's going to be better performing uh only if you really do it right uh you can move workloads to the cloud and they run slower just like you can upgrade sql server and sometimes it doesn't run faster right there are new features new architectures, new capabilities, new ways to do things that sometimes we have to take advantage of those during the move to make sure that everything that we're doing does perform the way we want it. Also, a lot of times we've over-purchased on-premise hardware or colo hardware for peak performance hours, right? The end of the month batch, the overnight ETL. In the cloud, we don't need that performance all the time. So combining that cost management with performance, we have the ability to scale up and down to either meet predictable workloads or even unpredictable workloads, like a big website spike or those types of things. So there's lots of ways to solve these problems. But whenever you hear somebody say it's always blank in the cloud or it's always cheaper, always faster, always better, it can be better and it can be faster and it can be cheaper, but you have to do it the right way, just like when we de deployed and designed all of our things on premise. Last but not least, everything is easier in the cloud. Uh, that's not necessarily true unless your whole team is cloud experts. Uh, that's part of the reason that we have one of the biggest on-demand training libraries for data and cloud and these types of technologies. It's part of the reason that we do these Azure Everyday series so you can come back and learn little bite-sized bits every day because it's a new platform. And while, yes, once you're totally up and ramped up, I think it is easier and more straightforward just because you have more options. It's not, you know... I have one tool to solve all these problems. I have lots of tools, and if I don't like the tools, I can just wait a little bit, and more tools are coming. More things are gonna be available. Uh, the vendor support, the engagement, the uh, integration between products does give you an incredible variety of options, but that can lead to a bit of paralysis around which thing do I use, which thing do I you know, choose to, which pattern do I use, which service do I use, do I use a big data service or a relational service or a Cosmos DB or a graph database, and then people just sort of throw up their hands and they don't have good guidance. And so we're going to do our best to keep providing guidance. You do your best to understand your business and what you really want to create. And let's talk about it and let's figure out how we can do that together. Uh, if you're interested in doing that, click on the link below. Thanks for watching Azure every day. Have a great day.